glasses um, and some very, very sweet cake. Uh, now it's time for lunch. Michaela's in the kitchen with a spinach and ricotta savoury pancake. Your take on sort of classic cannelloni. It smells amazing. So good. Um, uh, but uh, away you go. Yeah, so, I mean, again, classic in Italy. Every region, every town, even every family often has twists on the same dish. Yeah. So cannelloni, a lot of people will buy the pasta tubes. Yes. I've, from our region, they don't do them with pasta tubes oh, right. for a start. Um, but I find when I cook with them, they sometimes don't cook through, oh. and then you're kind of halfway through the dish and you're like, got a crunchy ah. bit of pasta. Because it's not like a lasagna, this doesn't go in the oven for as long. So in our region, okay, yeah. they, they call cannelloni also crispelle, which are done with pancakes. So the oh, great wow. thing about this recipe is you can cook these in advance and keep them in your fridge a day before. You mm -hmm. can do it in stages. So people might go, oh, there's a lot of things to do, but actually... Well, you can buy them as well, can't you? You can buy them as well, exactly. So you My start... head immediately goes to that. Look at yeah, that. Well, where, where can I make this easier? Do you know what, Phil? It's all about making it easier. Everyone's got different circumstances, time. So um, you need the pancakes, then you need a white sauce. Now, again, everyone's got different methods of a white sauce, but mine is 80, 80, 800. So you've got 80 grams of butter, mm -hmm. and you melt that down. And then when that's lovely and melted, you put 80 grams of flour. Mm -hmm. And then my mum's tip, I'm just going to pop the flour in now. Do you just whack it all in? Well... No, it's actually so you got you want to get that roux, so you want to get it the the flour and the but and the butter yeah. to kind of come into like a ball almost. But once you've done that, put the um, milk in off the heat. Oh, so, okay. So because people when they make a white sauce will often find they get lumps in it. And actually, if you take so it off the this heat. is on the heat now. You need it to melt the butter and to create the roux. But then once you've got it in that kind of ball, then put the milk in off the heat, whisk it. And once all it's the all... milk in at once, or just a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I do. Yeah, oh, dear. all okay. in. Yeah, I mean, again, people have different methods, but if you put that in, it's probably let's just give that a little bit more. That's got to combine. But yeah, if you if you combine it off the heat, you're less likely it's not to get go lumps. lumpy. Mm, very good. And then you put it back on the heat, and you kind Thicken of it up a bit. Exactly. So I'm just gonna do that little stage now. I like the smell of it when you're cooking, when that butter and yeah, the when it meant yeah, it's when like, it, it smells nice. It's, and, that, and people get scared of white sauce because they think, oh, you know, it's going to get lumpy and yeah. all this. But don't get scared. It just there's some recipes that you can leave, and there's some that you can't leave. Mm -hmm. I would encourage you and say at this stage, don't leave the white sauce. Give it the time until it gets to the consistency that you want. Yeah. Then once then there we go. Heat's going to go off. The, but the milk goes in. Yeah. Mm. And then off the heat, I'm going to just whisk it together to get all the kind of the bigger bits so it melts down. So remember, the pan is already hot at so this stage. So it's still kind of cooking. So it's starting to cook it, but it's not just giving it that fierce heat yeah. that people get. That's where you start getting it sticking at the bottom. And yeah, and it so all goes wrong. This is going to take a bit of time, so you would That's need fine. We believe to you. season this with a bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then you come up and then you get this lovely white sauce. Now, um, Put that to the side, and then you're going to do your filling. Now, for okay. filling, in here I've got some steamed spinach. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do with that spinach is cool it, squeeze all the moisture out. They hold now we're going a to lot do the of filling. water. Spinach. They do. Mm -hmm. And you need to look, look, I mean, that was a huge bag of spinach. That wilts down. So you've got, this is your filling now. You're going to put your spinach. In here, I've got, I'm going to have three cheeses. Mm -hmm. I've got ricotta, mascarpone and parmesan. Mm. That goes in. Now, this is the same filling they use in tortelli, the little pasta parcel mm. that you have with butter and sage. And honestly, a child could do this. It is that simple. We're just going to mix that together, season with a bit of salt and pepper, OK, and then a little grating of nutmeg. Mm. And that, that's what gives it its unique flavor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that is it. That is the recipe essentially done. We've just got to assemble now. Yeah. So people will go, Ooh, all this scary. Well, to me, that does seem like the scary bit. Well, the, the assembly part. Yeah. Wow, look, at, look, look, Holly, watch how easy this is. And I got my pancake, two spoons in the middle. Mm hmm. There we go. I'm going to spread that out. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. So the white sauce, I thought you were going to put the white sauce nah, in. Ah, no, no, no. So thinking. this. The best thing about this recipe is you can make this in advance and freeze them freeze the whole thing. like that. 
Then if you have a dinner party or midweek supper and you're struggling for time, you pull it out of the freezer, do your white sauce, pour it over the top. So there we go, look, you've got these already. Mm -hmm. They go in like that. So that could come out of your freezer. Yeah. You could cook it from frozen, no problem at all. And you've got this lovely white sauce. And what happens now is you drizzle that over the top, cover your cannelloni or crispelle, however you want to call them, top it with some parmesan, and then that goes back in the oven at about 180 for... Well, again, if these were frozen, you'd need a bit longer. You put cheese on the top. And cheese on the top. Always. There's my cheese. There's oh, something yeah. very soft and comforting about it, isn't there? Mm. Do you know what, what I mean? It's like a very soft, smooth, nice, It's full warm. of goodness. It's got the spinach. And what I love about the difference between using pasta and the, and the pancakes here is you can't really go wrong. Mm. With pasta, if you undercook it or if you overcook it, it makes... it changes the dish. Whereas for this, you put this in the oven and those pancakes just make it exactly what you've just said, this lovely... Um, and that's going in the oven for how long? So that's going in the oven... Well, again, if they were frozen... You'd obviously Longer, need to put yeah. them in for about 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes. If then, if they're cooked fresh as we've just done it, You're probably just... 20, 25. And can you put all... I mean, obviously, this is a lovely filling, but could you put whatever you wanted in there? So I do another one with caramelised leeks and, and smoked salmon. So instead Ooh, nice. of the spinach, you just cook off some leeks in a little bit of butter and sugar, um, cook them off and stir them into the ricotta mascarpone mm. and then some smoked salmon. You don't even need cooked... You know, you don't even need um, cooked salmon. How hot is your oven? How hot? 180. 180. So the, the joy of this, a bit like a lasagna, a bit like a pesto, in Italy, it's about the process and then you can adapt. So, like mm. I said, this, you could put, you know, leftover um, roast chicken, shred it just some leftover smoked chicken, maybe with some sun-dried tomatoes mm. mixed in with a mascarpone in the parmesan. And away you go. And away you go. And it's just that... I think what happens, though, is when you add the white sauce, mm. it really transforms yeah. the dish. It's because lovely. then you... And, you know, serve that with a lovely salad. Thank you. I wouldn't you. say breakfast, lunch and dinner, but, you know, it's that kind <laughs> of midweek dinner party. Glass yeah. of wine. Glass of wine. Lovely. Serve it, you know, for your friends or have it just really for your family. Nice. Thank, Thank you. Nice Thank you very much. Pleasure. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.